If you searched for a job recently, you know how hard it became to land one. From getting the first call to passing tests and multiple rounds of interviews, we can all assume the hiring process is getting out of hand. The digitization of the hiring process made it easier for people to apply to jobs, but not to actually get one. Why? You may think companies are at fault, but job seekers too. Now that you can apply to 50 jobs in under 10 minutes, companies are flooded with job applications, most of the time from unqualified people. Sorting through them all became a nightmare, so every company developed tools and techniques to quickly select the best candidates. From algorithms to tests to crazy requirements, you name it. So nowadays, people who get interviews and jobs are, most of the time, not the most qualified ones. They are just the ones who follow the proper rules like resume writing, LinkedIn optimization and networking skills, which is not always easy to do. But as you all have been saying in my videos, you just want a job. Well, someone may have found a way around this challenging hiring process, cut through the noise and land more interviews than ever. Meet Jesse. He is a financial advisor and co-founded a medical spa about five years ago. As a business owner, he had to do lots of hiring. Which is, you know, when we have a job opening, we'll post the job onto Indeed, we'll put it on Facebook as well, and then we'll start just raking in the applications. It, it, it's really absurd the amount of people who can apply for, for one job now. He confirmed many of the stats you read online, such as the famous Glassdoor study that states a typical job posting gets around 250 resumes. That's why companies started using applicant tracking systems to filter out bad resumes. But it was a little bit more complicated for Jesse. As a small business owner, he had to do it manually. Look at just about every resume and, uh, and, and we'll try to make snap decisions. You know, we'll, we'll probably generally separate out one fifth of the resumes or so. So one fifth will move forward and then four fifths of them will we'll knock out in a few seconds. But here's the interesting part. From that one fifth of good resumes that remained, which is approximately 50 resumes, let's say, he had no indications on who would be the best fit because they all claimed they had good experience and credentials. I asked him if he would call 50 candidates for an interview. And obviously he said, Totally can't. Okay. You know, if, we get, if we get 300 applications in for one job, 50 of them are gonna be good, right? They're, they're gonna have the work, right work experience. They're gonna match the job description, not have errors. So if we have 50 who match it, we can't do an hour long interview with all 50. I mean, just scheduling that would be insane. But here's the surprising fact. And, but choosing those top 10 from the 50 good resumes, honestly, it's near guessing. When companies have too many good candidates, it would be too time consuming to get to know all of them. It's easy to eliminate 80% of resumes using indicators like resumes, grades, and tests. But when you have 40 to 50 candidates left with similar experience levels, it becomes a guessing game. And guessing isn't a safe hiring strategy, especially when Jesse had to hire for their most crucial hire ever, a manager role. We're hiring for a manager position about a year ago. Normally we just hire practitioners. So we're hiring for a large management role and we get about 300 applications coming in online for us. I know that that's completely normal for a corporate hiring manager getting 300 applications in a day. They're used to just breezing through them, right? But for us, 300 was completely overwhelming. Same process, same story. Were they really going to guess who would be suited to manage their medical spa while they were not there? Well, thankfully not, because a candidate did something unexpected that was unheard of. One applicant who did something genius, and that's why she got the job. She got the job because she did something that no one else thought of doing. Can you guess what the applicant did? I heard many job search techniques over the years to stand out. From reaching out to the hiring managers on LinkedIn, to creating websites, to showing your portfolio, and creating resume videos. I have seen it all. But what that candidate did? Never. I would have never guessed it, and that's why Jesse's answers was surprising to me. So what she did after she applied online was she gave us some strong letters of recommendation from her past two employers, and they were signed. Uh, they had their, their email address on it so we could contact them as well, and uh, so we did. At first, it can seem like providing references is not something that big. How come it's that powerful? 
but then it made sense. Because we would have spent so much time when we eventually whittled it down to five candidates, then we would have spent hours trying to call their listed references. You know, it would have been a complete mess because some of them are going to give you a little bit of information. Some of them never call you back. Some of them think that you're calling them as a solicitor trying to sell them something. So chasing down references is, is really time consuming. We found from every time that we've hired someone previously. You don't need to reinvent the wheel when you're trying to stand out in your job search. You just need to make the hiring decision easier for the company. For example, when you reach out to the hiring manager, you get to sell yourself directly, making it easier for them to assess if you're a good fit or not. When you show your portfolio, you show them your skill level, again, making it easier for the company to decide if you're a good fit or not. And similarly, showing your references at the beginning serve the same purpose. First, you save so much time for the company. Instead of being among those 300 average candidates, you're proactive and show your eagerness and motivation by providing what the company needs way in advance. The medical spa saved hours of skimming over resumes, selecting the top 5 to 10, then interviewing all of them, then chasing references at the end. But there's also another reason why references are powerful. But it's really valuable information. Who, who's better to talk about someone's quality, their, their work ethic, their character, than their past employer. You know, when someone applies with their resume or when they come in and interview with you, you'll hear what they have to say about themselves. You just kind of have to take them at their word for everything. You know, on, on their resume, people tend to exaggerate. In person, during interviews, charismatic people, uh, extroverted people tend to do better than introverted people. It's a shame that, as it is right now, you could, you could have dedicated a, a decade of your life to a company made incredible contributions to that company. At the end of that, when you're applying around for your next job, most of the vast majority of those companies you apply to will never know. They'll never knew, know that, that you were an incredible employee at your past company because you have to get past, you have to get the first interview and then you have to get past at least three other interviews before they'd even consider contacting, making the time to contact your references. Think about it for a second. Why do you keep reading on LinkedIn that getting a referral is the most powerful way to get a job? Candidates can talk all day about themselves, but it's much more powerful if someone else who has authority does it for you. When an internal employee tells their boss you would be a great fit, they tend to believe them and hire you. If your past manager says you're a good employee, we tend to believe them as well. References and referrals work the same way as testimonials and reviews online. When other people love you or your product, you tend to attract even more people. When Jesse realized how powerful references are, he got an idea to help even more job seekers stand out. We thought that, you know, there's there's got to be a better way to help those people stand out because there's so much more than just their resume. Their resume is, is a basic fact sheet about them. It, it's a basic short autobiography with some bullet points, but there's so much more than that. And it's a shame for companies that they're applying to to have no idea what they meant to their past employer if they were a standout employee. So we decided that we've got to make a way. We, we should build some sort of platform so that it's easy for them to get validated references from their past employers. And we want to make it very easy for the past employers to give them the references as well. Wow. Can I get an amen for that speech? I relate so much to what Jesse said. How many times have we all thought that we deserve a chance? How many times have we all thought that if only I get the chance to speak to someone, I would show them the value I bring compared to my resume. I spent three years saying this to myself personally when I was in university, and that's why I was so happy to see what Jesse created. I present the Safe Hire platform. Instead of just applying online and waiting, you get a chance to stand out immediately by providing a link where hiring managers can instantly visit your recommendations. Wow, has Jane earned this reference. If Jane has applied to your company, congratulations. She was an incredible contributor to our team and I'm certain she will be for yours as well. The goal is simple. Stop relying on keywords opti optimization and bullet points in your resume. These remain important, but will rarely give you the interview alone. Safe Hire is meant to give you the edge over other candidates by letting people who work with you or manage you sell your experience for you. You can attach written or video testimonials, you can put your portfolio and other examples of projects, and you can even take on assessments that prove you have specific skills like problem solving, logical reasoning, or active listening. As they said, every part of your Safe Hire profile provides evidence of the skills and value you bring to companies. And for the first time, 
you don't need to rely on a piece of paper alone to get interviews at companies you're dreaming about. All you need to do is put the link at the top of your resume, just like you're seeing on screen. Is do something unique, do something to stand out. And the best way to stand out isn't by, you know, a, a format or it's not by action verbs. The best way to stand out is to do something to help the hiring manager. But then I had a question for Jesse. What if you're a student and you don't have much experience? Can you still use the power of references? And that's what he said. Most of them have almost no work experience. And so as a result of that, all of their resumes are identical. So if, if you've got 300 recent college graduates applying for the same job, all of them look exactly the same. There's almost the only differentiation you have are extracurriculars that you did in college and employers do not give a care about your extracurriculars. So there's got to be a way if you were an exceptional student to stand out. And so if you have a limited work history, then the people who have the best idea of your work ethic and your character are going to be your professors. That's why Safe Hire gives you also the feature to add a testimonial from your teachers. If Jamie has applied to your company, congratulations. Jamie has taken multiple courses with me and she is consistently at the top of her class. You can use this to get a job, but also if you want to apply to a master's program or advanced certification, which I find absolutely amazing. All right, so if you've been watching this channel for a while, you know how passionate I am about finding ways to stand out in the job search process. You know, if you want to make the most out of your career, you can't rely on luck, algorithm, and job boards to find the best jobs out there. You need to find ways to be different. If it's not through your grades, it'll be through your experience. If it's not through your experience, it'll be through your work ethic. If it's not through your work ethic, then it'll be through your network and so on. What I like about Safe Hire is that finally, there's a platform that will give you a great chance of standing out without too much effort. So I highly recommend you try it because as Jesse said, you're so much more than a resume. Employers need to know and appreciate it. Use the link in the description to create a free profile and use all the premium features for an entire month, which is more than enough to get you started, by the way. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think about the current hiring process in the comments below. Hit the like button. I always appreciate people who do it, by the way. Uh, it helps this channel tremendously. Make sure you subscribe to not miss any future videos and I'll talk to you soon. Ciao. Oh yeah, by the way, if you're still here, this is the last video that I'm filming in this studio. I'm actually moving out, so you won't hear about, um, so you won't hear from me for about a month or so, uh, but I'm excited to uh, come back and then uh, see what, uh, what I have for, this ch for the future of this channel. Um, so yeah, make sure you subscribe so that you don't miss uh, any updates. I'll talk to you soon then, bye.